with the uh, 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 and, and that is uh, possible. The problem is if you have too much uh, coal in it, then it's still not hard. And if you have more than 50% than, uh, uh, unburned coal, you should reburn it. That's the thing. Because uh, so that, that, that has a value. Pardon? It's lower. Yeah, but then it should be possible, because the tests are, and I think could you know, that you could contact this Tommy Clausen at the University of Canada and discuss this, and he is very open for, for uh, cooperation and discussion. So, 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 so his name is in this, uh, in, on the first picture, uh, and, and uh, he, he, is, uh, he has been working with this for 15 years or something. Yeah, all, almost mainly yes, the ashes. Yeah. And he knows quite a lot. And he's very easy to talk to. So, um, <coughs> you already started, but could you please um, describe more of this cell farming process? And uh, um, my question here is uh, with this kind of um, sort of. Uh, this kind of process, do we actually need the granulation after salt hardening? No. No. No, you just have the, either you have the granulation or you have the head sack. And, and, and today, it started out with granulation 100%. But then it moved more and more and more to cell hardening impression. Uh, and today, I think, I don't know exactly about it. The main main part is this cell phone. Uh, so, so, yeah. It's, it's very interesting to know this fact because when I think about this whole process, the whole life cycle, not in terms of money but in terms of energy, then granulation is one process that takes energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you could skip that, then yeah, 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 it will be. Short question. And um, in Sweden, uh, you have uh, only flat TN. Um, you don't have uh, steep TN. But well, we have, but not yeah. as much as you have. <laughs> Good. Um, I think if we put uh, the steep TN uh, ash, we need um, ash in the water, in the river, in the lake. Uh, have a problem in Sweden? Well, this I don't know exactly, but I, if there would have been problems, I probably would have heard about it. So I don't think so. But the thing is, is if you have pieces like this, and it takes many years for them to, to go to this, uh, uh, and that is the thing. It, it goes step by step to, to nothing, and not so much will flow the way. Uh, like if, if you have a hard rain with, with uh, just the ashes that it is ash, I, I can imagine that it will float down to the lakes and the rivers uh, and, and be deposited there. And that would, of course, be bad uh, in many ways. Uh, but I, as far as I know, this is not a problem. And I don't think it should be a problem with steep axis. <laughs> steep like this, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Uh, I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, uh, yeah. And and you when you, you when did you have it you put it in a pile on, on a, 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 a cement or concrete flat and you have to pump cool water on it. It stays there and, and then the we go to the machine. Uh, so, uh, that, that is uh, uh, it's a pity when you were a you should have looked at this. Because this is at the plan we were. Uh, but we could maybe have yeah, another time. We <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that is possible. Then we could have a look at this more in detail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, after, after two uh, interesting presentations, we have a little break. Uh, 50 minutes, I think, uh, very prepared. Coffee table and uh, please
back up and get the mails. 